found that Christensen brick marble right over there last video I put on this morning um, I'm up here it's about I don't know close to one o'clock I got several three hours of digging to do anyway before it starts getting freezing I'm gonna look all around I got a bunch of places started where I was finding some stuff all of them have potential down there. there's a lot of potential might get down in there there's a lot more glass down there farther which is surprising I'll get back on my first one Later, folks. Start scraping off the surface here. And right here's a piece of a crock. And right here's an old beer. It's got G something on the bottom. See if this is whole. Oh, and it, it's a slick. I thought for sure that was going to be embossed. Man, that's a pre prohibition one. You can see it here. G6. Huh. That stinks. Thought for sure that it had embossing on it. Sure looked like it didn't. I just raked out a pretty cool bottle back in here nonetheless. When have you seen a bottle like this? It's rounded on one side. It's green. It looks screw top. But it's cool. See what it says. It's all embossed. And troll. Ant killer. Wow. Lay this side down. This side down. Antrol ant killer. Antrol Laboratories, Los Angeles, California. That's very cool. I don't have this. I've never found it. I like to keep finding stuff that I've never found on the channel. This is worth the trip up here just to show you something like this. I've never seen this bottle either. Antrol Ant Killer. It's got to be like 1930s, I would guess. It's even embossed on the bottom, patent pending. It says 23, but I'm not sure if that's the date. 23 on the left of that C1 and 0 on the other side. It might even be from the 20s, but I'd say it's from the 30s. Very nice. Very nice. That's a nice little bottle. It's very cool. It's collectible stuff like this. Ant killer. Wow. Look at that. I got my first marble of the day. I've been here well over an hour and all I have is that ant killer bottle, which is awesome. But um, I got my first marble. Do you see it? From what I can see of it, it looks really nice. Um, it might be another one of them peltiers. Oh, this, this is nice. I think it's a vitreo. It's one of these vitreos with the color veneered on and it's translucent, look at it. Let me get it wiped off, it's nice. It's got beautiful patterns on it. Yeah, that's nice. It's got that real nice blue pattern on it and you can see it's translucent. It's nice, made in Parkersburg, West Virginia. It's a vitreo agate. That color's veneered on the outside. That's pretty nice. Oh, there's a muscle shell button. It's a hand cut one with four holes in the middle. It's bigger. It's probably off a cage or something. That's pretty nice. Perfect condition. I saw this marble and I was looking for it. It flipped back here and it went inside this thing. It was laying like this and I didn't see it. Looks pretty nice. Oh man, look at that. Huh. I'm not sure what this is. It's not Marble King. That's nice. Hold on. All right, this thing's beautiful. Oranges and off-white. Look at that right there. I wonder what kind this is. It's no Marble King. Um, not sure. Maybe a Vetro. I don't know. It kind of looks like a helmet, but I don't know. I think they're clear base on one piece. That's a beautiful marble, and it's wet, man. That's nice. Marbles up in here too. I have been right over this lip here 
I'm on a flat below this slip. Right there's the slip that's all come in here, but I see a marble. See it? It's right here. Oh man, it's a swirl. I thought it was a cat eye. It's. I think this is a handmade. Hold on, this is awesome. This is a day maker. Wow, look at that, folks. Man, what didn't even see it was not even gonna see it. It fell off the top, and I was raking back his clay. There's a nice layer down in there. Who knows what's in that? But this came right off the top. Man, folks, man, let me clean it off. The pond right there at the tip of my finger. It's like a snipped one that's ground. It's ground off. But look at that smoker. Clear marble with white wisping all through it. That's probably an early Christensen. It's something old. It's no later than 1920, I would guess. That's just beautiful. It's bigger than average. It's a smoker and it's real nice condition. That's nice, folks. I'm pleased with that. That makes the day. A lot nicer than them Marble King marbles, that's for sure. Look at that thing. Let me see if I can. There you can see it's how clear. Oh, that's nice. Man, lay that. It's a heck of a nice little old shot glass. Perfect condition off TK. It's got kind of a flared lip on it. It's all there. Real heavy glass. Nice. Now this had another piece of brick right there, mason to it, but I got it off without breaking the brick and it says Graham, G-R-A-H-A-M, Memphis. We'll take that, I don't have that brick, I've never found it. And right here is a piece of a salt glaze jug, look at this. Oh, that would have been nice. Handles broke off, that's old. It's like 1870s at top. Oh. Would have been beautiful. I'm going to look around in here a few more minutes and then I think maybe I'm going to go walk a place on the river. I'll see. Maybe do that tomorrow. I'm pretty whipped. I'm going to look in here. There's a long neck beer sticking out. This may be a, an embossed one. I don't know. Let me get it out of there and we'll see later. And it's got that real heavy seam up the side. See, this is from the like teens or 20s. No embossing. Another slick one. Hello. Here's a crown top sticking out in right behind that beer. And it's got like a cross hatch, pat hatch pattern on it. I don't know what that is. It's some kind of soda, I would guess. It feels like it's in there good. Let me get it out and we'll see what it is. This might be a day maker. I don't know. It might be a clunk. I'll tell you, there's some newer stuff in here too. But there's another piece of uh, old pre-prohibition beer too. I'll get this out later. I believe that's not break. You can see the water line and it's clear up there. But I about got it ready to come. Probably just a clunk bottle, but I don't know. Oh man, look at this. This is cool. What the heck is this? Some kind of weird soda. I don't see any embossing on it. it. Says stuff down here at the bottom, I think. Huh. It's a cool bottle nonetheless. Let me get it wiped off. Well, that's a very cool bottle, even though it didn't say nothing. It says, I think eight fluid ounces right here, and then on the bottom it says, Parkersburg, West Virginia, and it's 1933. Never seen that bottle before. That's a keeper. I'll keep that. So, not bad, not bad. It's a shame it didn't say like whistle cola on it real big and boss, but it's all right. It's a fun. Yeah, this is a real shame. Ginger beer. This is probably a local one. Oh, man, fakes, that would have been. It's a crockery and it's all like glazed up with a name that sucks, that's broke. Oh, yeah, there's some older stuff in here anyway with them Crocs. Yeah, this is a cool old piece. It's even got a maker's mark on it. You can see it there. I'll pause it there. It's a soap dish. It's an old porcelain soap dish. That's nice. It's all there. Well, that's a real shame on this. This would have been 
as nice as that brick, but it's got a big chip out of it. I'm still going to take it. That's either an alley agate flame, and I'd say it's a Christensen agate flame marble. Christensen agate company, I would guess. That's just insane. Look at that pattern. Oh, man. It's broke. Ah. Oh. It'll still be good for a jar or something. That's nuts. That would have been a year maker. Right in behind that Christensen agate, that big shooter marble. Here's another beer sticking out. And that looks like an old base to me. I can't tell. It's got that seam around the bottom. It looks like old brown glass and it's got that heavy seam up the side. Let me get it out. It's probably slick. They're all slick in here, but you never know. Look. Yep, slick again. And that's pre-prohibition, that's an old bottle, but slick. Well, I'm gonna leave, I already did that wrap-up clip. Find that broken Christensen, and right in behind it, behind this rock, I reeked out another one. Another marble. Looks like an alley swirl to me. It's an acro agate, I think, corkscrew. It's beautiful. Man, there's older marbles in here. That's nice. That's a corkscrew, I think. Hold on. I don't think it is an acro agate. Look at that beautiful pattern on this. It is nice. It don't corkscrew around like it should. I think it's just some kind of real nice swirl. It's beautiful. It's got rust staining all over, but it's nice condition. That's a pretty marble. So we did good on marbles today. I'm gonna have to get out of here. I looked. I just got a spam call on my phone. Looked at it. It's 3:45 already. By the time I get home, it'll be dark later. Yeah, a few minutes later. Yeah, I know. I still haven't left yet. Right behind this rock, there's undug area in here. I've been over in there. Another marble. Huh. It's nice. Let me wipe it off. Hold on. Yeah, it's like a green patch. It kind of looks like a marble king, but then it kind of doesn't. Might be, um, boo. But another one, I'm getting out of here now, that'll be it. I've been here for hours. It's, I'm tired, later. You know, I saw this sticking out, so I haven't left yet. So I gotta get this out, it's got embossing on it. It might be one of them Cremel bottles, but I don't know. Um, let me get it out. Yeah, I about got this ready to come out. I think that's what it is. I don't have this bottle. Huh. It says hair tonic on it. Cremel hair tonic. I don't have that. That's kind of cool. Never found it. So that's a nice one before we leave. You know, not a real valuable bottle. It's, but I'd say it's 30s anyway. Cremel hair tonic. Never seen it. Never found it. Nicely embossed anyway. Worth a dollar or two. This isn't a real valuable bottle, but I've never found one this small. This is a Listerine that's the size of a shot glass. Listerine cork top too. It's machine made, but still that's an awesome find. And yeah, I haven't left yet. I decided to give it 20 more minutes. You can get so into doing this and focus that it's just hard to leave. Especially when you're finding, seeing big marbles like that and stuff. That's a cool find. Later. Yeah, I'm glad I stayed a little bit. Do you see it? Here's another big marble with the same size as that Christensen brick I found in my last video. With the pontal mark. And this looks good. This looks like it's going to be pontled. It's got a pontal right there, you can see it. But it's just a clear one. It's an odd shaped one. Look, it's got bubbles all in it. I thought it was gonna be nicer than that. I thought it was gonna have a white swirl to it, but it's still nice. Look at them bubbles suspended in it, it's big. That's cool. Very cool, look at that glass. But the uh, sun's almost over the hill, I gotta get out of here. I'll show you the brick with some other ones. I take all them, they make nice landscaping when I get to my mom's house. Um, I'll see you on the next one. Later. This is why I bring in bricks. 
see there's all different kinds here townsend block there's something here i don't even know what it is wheeling block can't in high block it says troop trooper block or something toronto sisler pavers standard bel air high block and here's the one today I don't have it it says graham memphis so you can see there's a bunch in here I just recently found the one under it. Porter Block. I just found that one not long ago. There's Harris. Athens, Ohio Block. Athens Block. There's some more. They make great patios, you can see, all out through there. So, thanks for watching. I'm home now. I'll, I'll add more clips to you this on my next time. Later. <laughs>